All right. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Welcome rainy to... Friday. Yeah, that is true. Welcome to another Success Live. Today with me, I have Krista. She is a cognitive rehab therapist. And what are you going to be talking about today? Models. Not like runway no, models. No, like runway but... models. Definitely runway models. Um, so I'm going to talk about models and how they are used and how um, in CRT and uh, the benefits of them and the different levels in which you can purchase and work on. I have some beautiful displays of some models um, and I'll show you each one and the benefits and what might be challenging for some people. Um, and then I have a finished, I don't actually physically have a finished car model, if you see this car yeah, model. Yeah, we can see it. Um, but I have a picture of one because usually clients take it when they are done. Cool trophy. Thank you. Um, yes, you're right. And if you have any questions, ask them during, and we have it up here um, yep. for, you know, we can just interrupt each other, or you can interrupt me and ask a question, and I can try to answer it the best that I can. So, um, you know, I'm not a model expert. I actually don't physically know how to make any of these models. I'm learning just as the clients are. Um, we're doing it together as a team, and some of them are super hard, and like challenging for me as well without a brain injury than somebody with a brain injury. So it's a really good team work activity. If you do it with somebody, it doesn't have to be a CRT. It could be a friend, a family member, whatever. Um, and each one of them works on literally anything you can think of brain injury related. Problem solving, executive functioning, um, you know, uh, OT related skills with fine motor skills, um, literally anything, attention task completion. I mean, you have to kind of complete them in order to have a finished product. I have a lot of unfinished products uh, with some clients that have recently uh, left our facility and I'm stuck with them. So you should finish. Them. I actually pawn them off on new clients. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you what's inside the boxes basically and why they're different um, and what they can actually help with. And then um, if you have any questions along the way, again, uh, let me know. So I'm going to actually start with the car model, which is just a plastic. This is uh, somebody, you know, the clients, I don't know where the camera is. The clients can pick the uh, model in which they want to create. There are not a lot of options, but there are uh, usually some that clients can, can uh, pick from. Uh, Revel is a huge company that makes them. Um, unfortunately, I have yet to figure out how to buy them off of their actual website. So then you have to go into Amazon. Um, but, you know, inside you have, they, they give you everything as far as the plastic pieces. So you have to buy your own model glue um, and uh, um, spray paint, you know, to make it customized. But, you know, it has all the different pieces. And the interesting thing with these, and to be mindful of, is that each of these little pieces in the plastic bags are numbered based on, uh, like, the part number. And then if you give me a second, the directions are non-word related step-by-step -step directions. So it's all basically up for interpretation. Um, so number this is matching. number matching. Um, so you have to really find the pieces. They're in no order whatsoever for these car <laughs> models. So that can sometimes be challenging. Um, it's also white on white, uh, which I'm not going to open this because this is a, a certain client that I'm working on right now. And it's kind of like peeling the iPhone sticker off. You know, I want him to be able to open it. So, you know, there's no rhyme or reason on these numbers. It's not like 32, 33, and 34 are on the same one. So, um, you know, it's very hard for clients to see. You could use a Sharpie and color in the numbers to make it contrast of like black and white, which is a strategy I had to use for a client of mine in the past. But it basically just shows you a picture diagram of how to fill it out. And that can be super challenging. So like I said, it's a team effort. Um, these Rebel cars, uh, it's not always just Rebel, but these cars, they also come in skill level. I think this current one is a skill level two. I can't tell you what it correlates to as far as like age, but you know. Um, That's cool, I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, it's at round two maybe? Is that what it? No. No. Somewhere oh. on here it says skill level. I saw it earlier, but okay. regardless, That's you know, cool. you can kind of, I don't think, I think it's like skill level. I think that maybe the highest is like six, maybe seven. Um, but it's really nice because, like I said, you get to, the clients get to customize it. It's a nice, like uh, Janelle has said, it's a nice trophy piece mm -hmm. at the end to say, like, I built this, I did this, I completed this. That's super cool. Um, I have a picture of a completed one just to show you that uh, it can, you know, 
if anyone knows me, you're going to know that this is the color purple. A particular client uh, said that he would make it any color I wanted. So uh, we're delayed on the thing. So this is what it looks like. If you can't see it, I'm sorry. Um, but it's pretty cool. And, you know, inside, it, you can't open it once it's complete. But it has every little detail. So if you have a client who, you know, was into mechanics um, or into cars or even just into building, um, you know, you have to tell them, like, it's not exactly the same. But it's, you know, still working on something that they find Oh, you can see. See, we're delayed. Something that they found uh, in their past as um, entertaining, I guess, or something that they enjoyed, and they're just doing it in a different way. I actually started doing one with one of my clients, and um, he, like, knew what the parts were and what they yes. were called. He's like, oh, this is the blah, 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 and I'm like... Yeah, it's like okay. there's, yeah, I yeah. don't know anything about cars, and so I'm like, oh, the thing for the engine that, you know, like, I don't know, this tiny little piece, so, yeah. you know, I am... The um, bumper, I know the, that. Mm, the bumper, and do the decals. Uh, yes, you do everything, start to finish. Steering the wheels. wheels, I know what the wheels are. Brake pedals, I there's get to... stickers, too. Yes, they're cool. decals. Oh, okay, um, sorry, decals. Yes, get it right. <laughs> so, I have yet to figure out how to create one of these car models with the wheels turning, so, you know, one day. Wishful well, thinking. Well, maybe that's at the maybe that's at a different level. A level in which I don't know. So, that's one type of co of model um, that is you know uh, what I usually use for most clients. But then I had a client in particular who had done a couple and it became not challenging for him anymore. So I'm like, okay, well, what's more challenging than a than a plastic car model? And let me tell you, I found the answer. So. <laughs> What is more challenging is a wooden model, and I'm the pieces are going to fall out, so I'm just going to go like this and show you. This is a wooden motorcycle, and you would think, because it doesn't involve glue and it doesn't involve painting, that it would be easier, and let me tell you something. It is one of the hardest things I've ever done. So, again, this is an example of the directions, no words, all up for interpretation. The even more challenging thing with these wooden ones is that the wooden pieces are so delicate. And I have broken many pieces and I don't have wood glue, which is to be purchased in <laughs> a future date. Um, but I have a client who uh, used to work on uh, a big motorcycle person. So, you know, this to him is, um, you know, again, not the same. It's not a real motorcycle. But it, again, like Janelle said, he knows the parts, he knows the pieces, mm -hmm. and it's interesting to hear them say, oh, this is the whatever word that yeah. is motorcycle related. I actually, like, checked and, like, looked it up to Fact see check? if it was the part. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, I, you know, I trust you, I trust you, I believe you, but I just, you know, I was curious. Because I, I don't even remember what the name was. It was just something I've never heard of before, and he was spot on. Yeah, and they usually are. I mean, clients and, know way more than we do, ever, and ever. And honestly, it, it was really cool because in that moment, he was just so proud. Yes. And he was just like, yeah, like, I know what this is. And I'm like, I've never heard of that before. And then he, like, told me all about it. So Well, yeah, I mean, and it's a cool conversation too. starter. Yeah. Um, so that's a wooden one. I will show you uh, what was constructed of the wooden one. And, again, I already broke it, so... You know, so you don't user cut error. Any of them? No, and so basically, what you do is, um, I'll show you really quickly the best I can. So it, they have these wooden panel. I don't know if a panel is the right word. Things, and each one of these is numbered, and these are in a particular order. So this one in particular has similar range numbers. Also, on the directions, it tells you what wood panel. So this wood panel is one. And it'll tell you that all the pieces are in there, and it highlights it. I'm not going to show you because you probably can't see. Um, so you just pop them out. So, you know, you do have to be more delicate, so you have to be more mindful of that um, when building these. It is, like I said, it is a lot harder. Maybe it's just harder for me because I don't know anything about anything. But um, I try. I try to do as much. We try in CRT to do as much as we can for the client to enjoy what they're doing and to have a finished product. This it's like one, a learning, it's learning for us, too. It is a fun, lot of learning you know? for us. And please don't ask me to do a model outside of work. Um, <laughs> it's not your thing. It is it. definitely not my thing. But, I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing um, them light up when they're doing it and, you know, educate me on the pieces. Um, and the other model that I brought, which is um, a different level in itself, it has more um, of an electrical type thing. So most of these models, this is through Kiwi and Company, um, and a client of mine orders a subscription of them, and we create them. So we've done um, pinball machines, like functioning pinball machine, um, soap dispenser, a calendar, a ukulele, functioning. I don't know how to play it, but it was interesting. 
Um, and I just you should have had that. I didn't have it. Um, you so again, song. We could have done a little introduction. Maybe. Yeah, which I don't know how to play. Right, that's fine. Uh-huh. Um, but regardless, I um, this was gifted to me, so I was able to give this one. So this one is, and again, they the nice thing about Kiwi Company is they give you all the pieces, and I'm not uh, advertising them or anything. But this <laughs> they is didn't sponsor us. But they no, didn't. they didn't sponsor us. They should. Um, but this is a functional lantern that also. If I were to con- deconstruct it, it would become a flashlight. See? <gasps> so that is so cool. Yeah. So most of these um, are real, like they're a function. So I'm currently working with a client <laughs> on um, a pencil sharpener. So like it's all it's like mechanically based, and they are just a different skill level that this client in particular um, can handle. It's very high functioning, and oh, you know I it's forget. just That's it's so cool. it's really interesting. Again, the the instructions for them there's no words it's all very much up for interpretation so just in like showing you these different things (laughs) can kind of show you different parts of the brain that it might work on um different it is it's really cool it's actually um and then it's fun you know it's fun you get a you get a finished product to say i did this you can gift it to somebody i'm really big on having clients create something for somebody um and then they feel good about giving somebody something so that's awesome but it really does. It works on every. If you list a thing of functions in a brain and skills that it could work on, it hits every single one of them. There's literally not one that it wouldn't hit. So it's really interesting to um, you know work on it with different level clients. You don't have to be high functioning. You could be low functioning. You could be middle functioning. You could be verbal, nonverbal. It doesn't matter um, as long as you're working on it together and you know helping them along. And you know there's error. We've deconstructed and reconstructed a bunch of these models because we built it wrong because you know there's no words and it's yeah. we're all human so it's fun for me and the clients hopefully um but and, there's just so many different options that just correlate to different um hobbies too true or just like interests i should say true um so that's really that's really cool um, the only other thing I didn't bring is uh, Legos. I mean, don't discount Legos because as a child you built Legos. But they are, I mean, if anyone is a Lego builder, if you go into Walmart or wherever and you find a Star Trek thing, they're like $300. Granted, I'm not doing those types of Legos. But it is also a nice starting piece if you want to start there um, because there's no glue, obviously. So you can snap and unsnap things. Um, there are different levels. I do have uh, Lego sets that clients work on. And, again, it's a finished product. Um a little bit more breakable than most, but it is also another option that you can that you can um, construct, work on, do. Yeah, all the above. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm like just amazed by the lantern. And I know it is I, so fun. I wish I had the other ones because the pinball machine is like a real functioning I pinball think, machine. It exists somewhere in success. I think that I po- we posted a photo of it or a video of it one time. Oh, we a did. We posted a po- yes. It was a photo of the actual yeah. not in action, but yeah. So, you know, again, these are not free. They cost money. you got to consider that, too. I don't remember how much any of them cost. I don't particularly buy the Kiwi Company yeah. ones for myself. Um, but it is worth it, and it can, you know, take up a couple, a lot of sessions, a couple months' worth, um, depending, because, you know, if you're working on the car model, you have to wait for things to dry. Yeah. Um, and paint and all that kind of stuff. So, you know. That would be, like, the only thing I would be able to do. The, the car model? Models. It smells really bad. If you have a smell <laughs> thing, it is, it's potent, the, yeah. the paint and the glue. Well, so, you said, so you said you've used markers in the past, what, to highlight the numbers? The highlight the numbers the... on the model ones okay. because it's, it's white on white. So, like, if you okay. have a vision, anything vision-related, it's really hard to see. Um, yeah, it's really hard for me to see, too. So I've taken, like, a black Sharpie and kind of just, like, okay. colored in the numbers, and then it's, it's still hard to see, but it's... Not as hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. So it has a contrast of black on white. That's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing some of the models that you've done. You've really. uh, The model queen. You really broadened your horizon here with these models. I'm I'm impressed. (laughs) (laughs) Now I know who to call if I need a lantern. No, please. Oh, yes. If you need a lantern, you can borrow mine. If you need a lantern. But um, didn't um, you also make a like working trash can with somebody as well? So the same thing. The, The similar one. It is a trash. Trash kit can. Oh, that's so. It was a basketball hoop into a trash can situation. It lifted up, right? It lifts it up, and when you really cool. mm -hmm. So that was also this Kiwi company, uh, higher level, um, mechanical type. Okay, yeah, so cool. It is really cool. I love it. 
Well, thank you for bringing these in and sharing them with us. If anyone has any questions, please ask. Um, so what skills are clients working on when completing the model? Um, everything, literally. Attention to task, atten problem solving, planning. Like, I'm trying to go through all the things that you could even get. Like, uh, comprehension, follow through, following directions. Um, I feel like... Find motor skills. Memory. memory. Where that. did you leave off? How do you know where you left off? Yeah, that would what be strategies are you using? Find motor skills. Like, everything. I could, like, literally list any word that I've ever come across in working in brain injury, and it is going to tick one of those things. So, so everybody that's buy models. Buy models and work on them. <laughs> yes. What that's else? That's awesome. Um, uh, we can, thanks, Kevin. We can see it. Um, ask me questions. Tell me anything non-related. I'm a CRT. Um, Janelle's a CRT. It could be CRT related. related. It could be um, model related. It could be model related. It could be non-model related. Well, I'm impressed. I'm glad you're impressed. Uh, I, I think I've done one of these car models when I was little. And I'm pretty sure it took me like a couple weeks because I would get frustrated with it too. Do you have a lot of? Oh yeah, there is a lot of frustration. I mean, granted, our sessions are hour long sessions, so you know it is nice that we can work on it for a portion of it. Mm -hmm. Again, depending on the model that you're working on, if you're working on the car, uh, the plastic models, I should say, because they're not all just cars. Um, they also have motorcycles and trucks and mm -hmm. and trailers and stuff like that. Um, you know, with those, once you once you put things together, it does take time to dry, and you can't build onto it until that piece is dry. So, um, how do you work with the client's activities in person? Um, so, you know, it you have a little bit of, of uh, room to take breaks and just do, like, little tiny pieces at a time. And then, honestly, even if you're painting the pieces, because you have to paint them before you put them on, um, if you're doing multicolor uh, stuff, that in itself gives you a break. Because once you spray paint it, you can't touch it for, like... A couple days so um so it so says a day in your <laughs> life how do you work with the clients activities in person so thank you for that question secret admirer over here that is my lovely sister um so a day in life what we do is we are mostly in person um we do have some telehealth options very minimally at this point we are um finally out of the big giant skirts of covid so we work in person and um we do anything the client wants to do there's nothing where I tell a client what they're doing. I don't ever, <laughs> thanks. I don't ever, um, you know, have something that I'm like, we're, granted, there's a couple things that we have to do. But <laughs> I'll never say to them, this is what we're going to do. Like, we yeah. give options. Um, I know Courtney had done an Instagram Live a while ago and talked about how, you know, there's so many different things we can do to work on clients, um, getting them better in a certain skill that they may have um you know, lost or aren't so great at since their brain injury. So the most important thing is we try to make the, make it fun because, you know, we want yeah, them to be engaged. Be they're interested in doing, mm -hmm. like these models. Like these models. If you were a model builder, you should do a, do a model. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's literally anything that they want to do, you know, within reason. Um, the weather is super nice. We try to get them out. Yeah. That's huge. Fresh air. I mean, God, it does anybody good. Not so much today, since it's like a yeah. monsoon out there. Not good out today. Um, and freezing all of a sudden. You know, we go from like 70-something to 50 in good old Pennsylvania. Um, but if anyone has any other questions, you can write them in. If anyone wants to build a model, you know, you can you ask. Can, I could not build it for you, but I will help you. You, you could probably give some really good suggestions. I could I mean, do that. I could do suggestions. Definitely. Um, what are some other examples of models or of activities? I think maybe activities. Um, we work, if you're thinking, if it's activities, uh, of things you do with clients. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just going to talk for myself because um, everybody has a different skill set, which is, you know, very interesting and um, a benefit for success. We have five, four CRTs right now, and each one of us brings something different. Um so, you know, I clearly work on models. <laughs> if I have not made that more obvious. Um, I have a lot of clients that work on um, focus. Focus is huge in brain injury. Um, you know, people can lose focus so quickly. So, you know, we do uh, online activities if they're uh, like a gamer. So we do a lot of Lumosity. Um, there's a constant therapy app that's amazing. 
so that they, you know, maybe feel like they're playing a game, but really they're working on so many other different things. Um, you know, never downplay a game, cognitive activity, um, you know, playing cards. Sometimes it's nice if you have a client who's having a bad day and they don't want to work on the model. Yeah. I'm not going to force somebody to do anything. So, you know, we could just have a relaxing session of a, of a cognitive activity that, you know, you know, I let them know what they're actually working on um, so that they get something out of it and understand why we're playing this, you know, particular card game. Um, but yeah, I mean, literally it could be like anything, if that answers your question. I mean, it could even be, you know, with the nice weather, it could even be a matter of, you know, going outside and, um, playing basketball. Or but like doing a scavenger hunt. Or, but just incorporating different things yeah. into another activity to make it harder, to make it easier, whatever that may be, um, you know, to work best with a particular client. Yes. Um, and we have a lot of clients who love sports. I am literally not sports related. I probably don't know how to dribble a basketball correctly or well, um, but I'll do it. I don't care. I mean, she'll learn, but that's make it, make a fool too. myself for the clients. I'm all about it. But you know, we can make, we have to be creative. So if you want to go outside, like I was saying, you could do a scavenger hunt. Let's go for a walk and find all these things along the way and talk about it. We have a client and another therapist who does like um, the ABC. So you go outside and you find something with an A and a B and a C and a D. You go see how far you can get through the alphabet. And you know, it's working on a lot of different um, skills. It's actually very hard. I mean, I don't know if I can find something outside in Bucks County with a Z. Maybe if we were at the Philadelphia Zoo, Maybe. might find some zebras. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we try to be very creative here. And we try to cater to the clients as best as we can. Yeah, absolutely. I know we have um, a CRT who's very musically inclined. Yes. Um, so, you know, he works on a lot of music-related tasks um, with them. So, you know, um, they're... Do clients um, have reading deficits feel encouraged by directions without words? That's a good one. I mean, I would, I feel like, yeah, I mean, because, you know, I try to tell people, like, there are no words. I don't say it in a way of, like, you know, if you can't read, don't yeah. worry about it. Um, I do tell them, and I do it more of, like, so we're going to have to figure it out together. You know, we're going to have to teamwork it. We're going to have to, um, we're going to get it wrong. We're going to break the pieces apart and reglue them. Yeah, problem solving. Um, mm -hmm. But I would imagine if you can't read and you're thinking you're going to do something that is direction and step-by-step -step based, that it might give you a little bit of anxiety about that. So I would say that I would I would think it would give them encouragement to be like, oh, I don't have to read anything. I just have to, like, interpret pictures, which is a very hard task to do, <laughs> by the way. No, that's great. I, I guess I never really realized that um, they do that with models because it's pretty much all. Models. Oh, yeah, I haven't, I I specifically have not come across a model that was um, word-based or even like one, two, three, because you'll yeah. see the picture and it's like, it doesn't tell you what piece goes first, so you kind of have to look at the current step and then the step after and do a lot of like interpreting and problem solving, yeah. brain injury words. All right, well... If there are any other questions, you can always ask them. Um, we will be posting this video later again today. Um, and if you have any questions, we, you know, directed towards models, we'll let Krista answer them. But uh, we can. Car models, not, yeah, car not Vogue. Vogue, yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and uh, we can get Krista to answer them or any of our other CRTs. But model specific questions to her, so. Thank you, everybody, for joining, and happy Friday. And happy Mother's yeah, Day happy to mothers, the mothers over yes. the weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all Yay. the mothers. It's not going to rain. Hopefully not. But All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Friday.